When cooking or baking, you may count across recipes that require body measurements in stick, cup, or even grams. Understanding the conversion between these measurements can be confusing, especially with differences between countries and systems. In this video, we will answer the question how many sticks of butter make one cup, while providing context about measurement systems and how they affect recipes. So, how many sticks of butter is one cup? According to an article titled How Many Sticks of Butter Are in One Cup, published by SouthernLiving.com, in the United States, butter is typically measured in sticks, with one stick being equal to a uh, half cup or four ounces. Therefore, one cup of butter is equivalent to two sticks. However, it is important to recognize that butter measurements can vary depending on the country and the measurement system being used. So, what is the differences between the metric system and the imperial system? According to an article titled, What is the differences between the metric and imperial system published by Masterclass.com? The metric system adopted by most countries worldwide use gram and liter for measurement. The United States and a few other countries follow the imperial system, which use ounces, cups, and pounds. In countries using the metric system, butter is typically measured in grams. While in the United States, butter is measured in sticks, cups, and ounces. So, how to convert between the metric systems and the imperial systems? To convert the butter measurement between the metric system and the imperial system, for example, you can use the following conversions. One stick of butter equals half cup equals 4 ounces equals 113 grams. One cup of butter equals 2 sticks equals 8 ounces equals 227 grams. Remember that volume measurement and weight measurements are not interchangeable. A cup of butter weighs differently than a cup of sugar, so always pay attention to the specific ingredient when converting measurement. Alright, so here's the tricky part. Volume measurements between US and UK are actually different. So what are the differences in volume measurements between US and UK? The United States and the United Kingdom have variations in their volume measurements, such as teaspoons, tablespoons, cups, fluid ounces, pints, and gallons. These differences stem from the US customary system and the British imperial systems. It is crucial to understand these differences when working with international recipe to ensure accurate measurement. Differences in measurement between the US and UK can be significant, especially when it comes to cooking and baking. For example, that's considered butter measurement. In the US, butter is often measured in sticks, with one stick equal to half cup or four ounces, approximately 113 grams. In the UK, butter is typically measured in grams or ounces, and there's no standard stick measurement. Volume measurements also vary between two countries. Although both the US and UK use teaspoon, tablespoon, cup, fluid ounces, paint, and gallons, the actual amount differ. Here are some conversions for this measurement. 1 UK teaspoon is roughly equal to 1.2 US teaspoons. 1 UK tablespoon is roughly equal to 1.2 US tablespoons. 1 UK fluid ounces is roughly equal to 0.96 US fluid ounces. 1 UK pint is roughly equal to 1.2 US pint. 1 UK gallons is roughly equal to 1.2 US gallons. There is no standard cup in UK measurement, but in many places, a cup is informally accepted as 250 millimeters, which is about 0.88 US cups. When cooking or baking, it's important to be aware of the type of measurement the recipe is using and stick to the system if possible. Mixing measurement system can lead to inaccuracy, so it's best to make adjustments as necessary. For simple recipes, you can likely follow the recipe as is and still achieve good results. As you might have noticed, I compiled the above information by simply googling and reading the people also ask section of Google search engine results page and doing some fact check myself. And I will encourage you to check out this website yourself too. Today's website I found on Google search engine results page are 1. SouthernLiving.com, which is the online version of Southern Living magazine. Like the print version, the website provides a wide array of information and resources about Southern lifestyle, including home decor tips, recipes, gardening advice, and travel guides. 
to masterclass.com, which is a streaming platform that offers classes taught by world-renowned instructors in a variety of fields. Every class is made out of extensive pre-recorded video content, a class workbook, and interactive assignment and, and community activity. 3worldfoodwine.com, which is a website that offers a comprehensive guide to global cuisine and wine, providing easy-to-follow international recipe, insight on wine and food pairing, and information on various cooking methods and sustainable food sourcing. So if you made it to the end of the video, chances are that you enjoy learning what people also ask on Google. But let's face it, reading the AA yourself will be a pain. So here's the deal, I will do a reading for you and upload a video compiling some fun PAA once a week. All you have to do is to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you won't miss any PAA recorded I compel. So just do it right now. Bye!